No if goats. Y- if you <laughs> ever think about correcting your work station by putting a goat behind your back or any other lumbar support that is goat shape, according to the expert, this is not the best idea. Yep, it probably would not help. So there is no. Uh, goat doesn't work. All right, goat is out. Yeah. What we have is the whole system of pasture and patterns. According to our ergonomist, this is called the V zone. The moment I get out of that V zone, my shoulders are getting engaged, my traps are getting tight. People cracking their necks all the time. I said that his system, their system, and it feels very different. It feels like I'm sitting in the most comfortable car that is shaped and designed specifically to my body. Hey guys, welcome to Make Offices at the Wharf in Washington DC. Today I wanted to introduce uh, Simon Savitsky to you guys. He is an amazing person. I met him actually at a Tony Robbins event. He collaborates with people like a maniac, and I mean in a very positive way. He has something that is a true passion. This person is so inspired by his mission that whatever comes as an obstacle, he's actually using it to make himself stronger. And it's not just for himself and his family. He started the company to help you guys, to help people live better lives. Simon, welcome. It would be so awesome to hear your story. Just tell our viewers why you started Ergo RX. I thank you for awesome introduction. Uh, very humble by it. We started with the mission of helping. I always, my since the very young age, I always want to help people, and my main goal was to not hurt, at the very least, not hurt anybody. But if I can help, it's better. Of course. So after coming from Poland to U.S., I ended up doing construction, and then after a while. After meeting my wife, Jeannie, and that was we just had Fantastic our tenth anniversary. Fantastic. So it's a uh, you know it's been going on for a while. Congratulations! Thank you. So with uh, with her, she's a physical therapist. I always attempted to go that direction, but because of the education mishaps, mm-hmm. I never ended up having a degree. Mm-hmm. So my next thing was going into being an athlete. I'm a mm-hmm. s- soon to be a professional fighter, I'm a personal trainer. I'm about to st- I'm teaching Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I do many different things that are directed towards wellness and towards being active. Amazing. And that's where I was introduced to actual pain prevention by my wife who was a physical therapist and she had to treat my different pains and aches caused by training Mm -hmm. and that was a great solution and after that Jeannie actually took uh, took on a job in education Mm -hmm. and then her lifestyle changed so from the office she went straight to the actual desk working 10 to 12 hours a day, so back pain and the negative results of the computer posture popped in pretty quickly. So then it showed us our next mission, which is not only promoting the wellness, actual fixing the computer posture, which is so atrocious right now, nowadays being with billions of dollars being spent every single year on treating those different work hazards because those are all desk jockeys and people working at the desk. They're just workers who are exposed to the work hazards right at their desk. We don't see it. So it doesn't look like a real hazard to us. Nobody's coming with an ax, right? It's it's but it's a real hazard because it's uh, something called micro trauma, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a RSI. So we, those are the repetitive stress injuries. So it's a it's a long time. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen over weeks. It happens over many 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 months, especially right now when the technology is so advanced that kids are getting their first tablets and laptops That's basically right. in the crib. So. I had my 
first computer in the age of 24. So I had 24 years of no computer posture. And right after I got my first computer, we started building a solution. So I actually never experienced computer-related back pain. Yeah. I was fortunate enough that as an athlete who got the computer and a workstation that prevents from pain, I was never exposed to it. Mm -hmm. But I saw my kids using it. Oh, yeah. And that's the issue because those little tiny spines are growing. And what it ends up causing is the medical interventions at the younger and younger ages. You see spine fusions in the early 20s. I know. I know. 15 year olds. Unbelievable. You, you, you know uh, that I work with surgeons, I work with chiropractors. Uh, for a very, very long time. And we always try to collaborate to help prevent surgeries because even surgeons, the ones that I know, they, they care about people. They don't want to cut people open and then fuse somebody, sometimes multiple levels of uh, vertebrae. The problem is that when people come to the doctor, a lot of times they don't think about prevention. They're waiting until problems become much, much worse. Um, it's unbelievable how important it is because it's almost like a silent danger that we all have just sitting down like everybody says well it's normal I'm sitting at the desk like all the other people and at the same time they are not thinking that you can actually sit comfortably yep right so tell us about that so tell, tell us when people use ergo rx solutions how does it actually feel how does it look like what is it for for those of uh, our viewers who don't know what like what is it it's a system of postures and patterns. What we actually did is we did create a few tools that in the relation with existing chairs and desks will put the user in the proper posture and the posture will be always correct. So what ends up happening, and that's actually, it's pretty cool we have a desk here. Mm -hmm. So in the, at the regular desk, Every single time when the keyboard and mouse is on the desk, I have to actually get my back off my lumbar support, which is the most important part of my chair. My ergonomic chair is, suppo is supposed to be good because of the lumbar support. Very important question. Putting a goat behind your back, would that solve the problem? That might address one of the symptoms probably could you know that that goat is kind of <laughs> misaligned I w i've seen some actually lumbar rolls being used it's pretty cool i don't think it solves the issue because with me having a roll behind my back i don't care because i'm hunched forward anyway right doesn't help your neck right? the space between back of my between my back and the back of my chair is still pretty significant. So there is no, uh, goat doesn't work. All right, goat is out. <laughs> so guys, if you ever think about, no if goats. You, if you ever think about correcting your work station by putting a goat behind your back or any other lumbar support that is goat shape, according to the expert, this is not the best idea. Yep, it probably would not help, but, to go in the actual serious direction. The second we start reaching to our keyboard and mouse, our back will subconsciously get unglued from the back of our chair and we start slouching, which in connection with the our chairs rolling all over and swiveling, it'll cause a whole bunch of uh, Degenerate, degenerative stress on our spine. So what we've created is a set of tools um, and the main ones being Unity Keyboard Tray, which is the lap tray that can sit on my lap, allowing me to actually sit back in my chair, mm -hmm. having my equipment close to me. So this is, according to our ergonomist, this is called a V-zone. When I'm sitting back with the neutral spine, with my arms 
on my side, this is the V zone. So this is a place for me that's safe to use while I'm working on yeah. the computer. The moment I get out of that V zone, my shoulders are getting engaged, my traps are getting mm -hmm. tied, especially with uh, short people sitting at the larger people furniture. That's, that's a whole day activity. So we're talking about those traps being stuck in this position people cracking their necks all the time because of their shoulders not being in the proper placement. So when you look at the body in general, there are angles that are healthy for us to use and angles that will hurt us. That's the angle that's healthy for me, 90 degrees without me reaching for anything. That's healthy. Mm -hmm. The second those angles change, the pain will start occur. Yeah. And it yeah. could be could be significant. It could be very tiny. And some people are very athletic. So not every person will be affected in the same way. Even if it's the same station, the same condition, because they are just in a, in a different condition, if yeah. they are more athletic. Yeah, right? and they have different yeah. habits during the day. And some people have been doing different activities. We have runners. We have especially we runners. Have fighters. Yes, exactly. Right. So fighting is good, according to me. Like, jujitsu keeps me limber. I'm very yeah. flexible because Strong of core. that. With, with runners, we don't usually run for very long. We can have marathon runners, but usually it's not a long-term activity. But when s we sit at the desk, especially with our feet placed on our five-star bases, with our with our hamstrings being tied, with our hip flexors getting tied, that we can actually see by the way somebody runs what their lifestyle is. Yeah, It's very simple to see the athlete who is running and the desk jockey who is running. You can see the back, necks, everything else is affected by computer posture, which is the majority of the time we spend during the day. It's 10 hours every single day, even for somebody athletic. Because workout is just a little piece of the time. Of but course. then we look at the long term of, you know, like just like water has the ability to carve the rock. Yeah, yeah. The, it's so fascinating because what he mentions about uh, how people sit, it's, it's so true that we all are told how to sit. And what's fascinating is that it's wrong. Because I sat at his system, their system, and it feels very different. It feels like I'm sitting in the most comfortable car uh, that is shaped and designed specifically to my body. It feels like I'm not straining uh, my body. And what we are told to do is that, you know, having the 90 degrees here and there and then having uh, that posture. But when we actually try to sit in the posture that they teach us, one is we cannot sustain it because it's uh, not a natural posture for us. Two, it's actually not the safest position for us to be in because they have research and studies to, to prove it. Uh, I encourage everybody to at least try and position their desk in a similar fashion to what Ergo RX offers. Check out their pictures online. They will be able to, to, you will be able to see it. But also, if you have a chance, just talk to your HR people and just ask, you know, can we, can we look at different solutions if you feel like your solutions uh, when it comes to your seating station is, uh, are not the best. Um, I'm truly inspired and I wanted to ask uh, Simon, what would be your advice to people who sit down at the desk for eight hours per day, which is unfortunately a lot of people, what would be advice for our viewers, what they can do right now, even if they don't have the Ergo RX at, uh, at their reach. Maybe their R HR person is not flexible enough uh, one way or another. It's not that possible to make it realistic to sit at your mm -hmm. station. And I know yours seems to be really the best solution. But if they cannot do it, what, what can they do? Any kind of tips, tricks, uh, advice that you would give them? What I would say is 
at the very least, remember about getting up every 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. If we can't really provide a healthy place to sit, at the very least, we have to improve, introduce the movement. Because it's really not about sitting, it's an activity that is the issue. Because sedentary mm -hmm. work is different than actual sitting for a little bit and then moving. Yeah. So movement and static sitting is totally different things. Of course, of course. And I'm super happy that you are bringing people towards that movement. Also, even when you fit people in Ergo RX, like we did at uh, Oracle event, uh, guys, they, they even tell you, don't sit in this for all, like all your day. You'd sit in it for about how many minutes? 25 to 30 minutes. 25 to 30 mode. minutes sitting down in, by the way, the most comfortable sit sitting position that you can imagine. And uh, ergonomically and proven by science, this is the position that people need to be in. And then after about 20 some 30 minutes, what, what, what should people do? Uh, move. So mm -hmm. standing is an option. Sit stand desks are okay. But if somebody has a seated position that is neutral and it's healthy seated position, then the easiest way for us to stand is just to take a break. Get some yeah. water, go and have a walk-in meeting. Just just stand up for one, two minutes. Look away from the screen. So it basically gives a a way to um, counteract us looking at the screen for for a while, so we can prevent. You know, not not only our spine is affected, our whole body is affected by sitting down by what we do. So hunching on top, you know, in front of your laptop will cause the spine decay, but as well, it's going to uh, cause some issues with the vision. It can cause some headaches, there is a migraines, there is a multiple different uh, uh, negative results of the sedentary life. Yeah. So standing up and preventing our posture to get worse is one thing. Preventing our eyes to get bad is another thing. And then... Hence the brakes. Yes, and then the brakes. So that's why, so that's that's the another reason why we kind of uh, going towards uh, building the standing bias desk. So mm -hmm. most of our desks, while we started with the seating position, most of our desks right now are um, placed at the standing height, mm -hmm. and that makes the movement between sitting and standing much more seamless. Yeah, it's uh, transition is seamless, super easy, guys. When when you sit in, uh, there is a name yeah, that he has. W what's the name of the system? It is the Anchorite system of posture and patterns. We're still trying to figure mm -hmm. out the exact naming because there's so many avenues that we can go towards. It is as the unity, as the whole use of the of the electronic devices you know it's the it's the the whole overall electronic use was what we make we can we don't really make a workstation because that's there's plenty of furniture manufacturers that yeah. are just making products and that's the computer manufacturer uh, that's the ergonomic workstation yeah what we have is the whole system of posture and patterns so what we do is we can sit somebody in the correct neutral position. We'll explain what the proper sitting and what the proper standing is, and what's the what should be in t what what are the ideal intervals between those two postures. Mm -hmm. So it's you know it could be right, especially right now when collaboration is such a big word. It's yeah. all about collaboration, working together, and mm -hmm. uh, furniture designers trying to build spaces that promote collaborations. But they don't address the actual, uh, actual danger, which is sitting 
in a hunched position. So with what we can provide is a seated, neutrally seated position at the standing height desk. And that's actually a perfect place for having collaboration. A couple of days ago, I met with uh, one of the Ravens players, but I can see how he is built. He's not built the same way as Simon or myself or most of us. He's really built for a different station. And I can bet that when he comes to work, if he was uh, in a work environment, it's not going to be very common that they're going to have a special desk and a special chair for him. But he's much bigger. So how can we live in an environment where we talk about customization of our workstations and then having so many of us with different postures with really no customization at all. It bothers me on a personal level that people don't give it enough attention. And seeing Simon's drive to actually address this problem, do something about it, educate people, uh, literally a few, what, what was it, two weeks ago that we went uh, to Oracle event. Yes. Seeing uh, Oracle employees so happy about being able to sit in a, in a workstation that is so comfortable uh, and myself getting thank yous for recommending to stop at their booth uh, is just amazing because we know that even in companies that are extremely caring about their employees like Oracle has one of the best cultures and the best ways to help people and uh, they are so awesome because they are inviting people like Ergo RX to to have some other solutions uh, to help their employees. I encourage all of you corporate CEOs and people in HR who have uh, control, uh, it doesn't mean that you have to go with one company. Uh, find a solution that is the best, do your research, and if you have any questions, you're gonna have a lot of support. So this is my message to you guys. Uh, Simon, thank you so much. Our pleasure, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thanks.